What's up, everyone? It's been a while, I know. Been busy with uh, adult things. You understand. Uh, but anyways, today, uh, with the advent of 324, I guess is what they're saying, coming out, I want to cover one of my favorite things that I still use, that I, I used immensely when I was mouse and keyboard, but even as dual sticks, I still use it quite a bit. And that's voice attack. But before we go, though, be sure to give a like and drop a comment if you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever you may have about voice attack or even little tips on you have. Um, and don't forget to subscribe as well if you like to see this more kind of content. But anyways, on the voice attack, what is it? It's a voice activated macro. And uh, well, what does that mean? Well, let me get in this cutty blue. It's got lots of screens. I'll show you exactly what it is. And then eventually, after I give you a brief explanation, I'm going to kind of bring you over to my voice attack screen so you can see kind of how in depth I have kind of made mine. We are about to get in the cockpit. So basically with voice attack, you basically anything you have a key bind for, you can do. So let's go through your typical startup that you would do as a mouse and keyboard player. Now, if you're six, hey, by all means, feel free to comment down below. I use dual VKBs um, and I do, I have shifted a lot of these voice commands over to my sticks because it's just easier. Uh, but if you're a keyboard player, and I even use this for video editing, audio editing, uh, for like my auction not included, for any game I play, if I can use voice attack, I do. Anyways, so very basic. You say you need to start your ship up, right? So we got to first of all, press U. Then we got to press I. Then we got to right alt and H to bump up our decoy count. And then we got to F, F7 number of times to put full power to shields and then you know and then we gotta and then, you know whatever whatever set it other settings and other neat things you need to do these are all what you have to do but let's say for example shut this off now i you can range in your voice attack commands from very stuff very simple to stuff that is highly complicated like the one I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, show now. Hold power on. Okay, so what that did there, when I say cold power on, it presses U, presses I, sets my dare my, my decoy count, puts full power to shields for a hundred seconds, and then it de then it resets. So I, with one command, I did everything that I just took about 30 seconds to explain in a matter of like one second. That's powerful, right? Now you can also set up to do other neat things too. I keep mine very simple, but you can get voice packs. You can get it to like, yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I agree, sir. Absolutely. You can get all these different neat little things. Uh, but let's say we want to reset our shields. Shields reset. systems reset there so what i do with systems reset is that resets the shield power shield balance as well as the power and so on and so forth so you can see how powerful this might be right and you could like like i said anything that you can tie into your um like your your keyboard and your keyboard settings and that you can use uh so now shields forward It's not going to listen to me very well. Uh, it is a little finicky sometimes, uh, but you get the point. Uh, you can also set key commands as well. So bear that in mind. So here's one last one that I want to show you, and then we'll flip over to my voice attack. Disembark. So now what that disembark did was it held Y and then uh, or it, it pressed you and then held y and i am way up in the air anyways i'm gonna get down onto the ground and then i will uh i'll see you at my voice attack screen and i'll try to explain uh what that looks like for example that 
that cold power on that kind of stuff so we're we're here in the screen obviously this is expanded uh but as you can see here um it is listening to everything i say and you can set it to have like a specific co like phrase like computer uh, a lot of people use who are like iron man fans jarvis that kind of stuff uh, i just leave it that way there it's there um, and you can have it set so that it looks for the key phrases within, um, like a, a sentence or just that sentence. I use this just that sentence. It can be a little finicky, like I just demonstrated, uh, but that's okay. So like here, I mean, I have power world, I've started this and I have video editing. I did have a couple other profiles that I deleted. Uh, but, um, I mean, uh, this is what I use it for. So, so it's not just for video gaming it's for like anything else which is awesome so what like what can you do with this so you can see here i have a very extensive list like you know bunker shutdown chart of course some of these are outdated with master modes and that kind of stuff but like cycle targeting subsystems um you know engines on firing mode flare count gimbal reset that kind of stuff hangar shut down uh so like as you can see you can do simple things like let's just put up lights for example right so if i were to say lights in game um it would literally just hit the l key right simple enough uh, so now we can you know or for example you know i'm a bit of a trekkie fan part of my uh like my quantum travel thing was you know like navigation mode activate and then either quantum engage punch it let's go make it so uh engaged that kind of stuff right again simple you can hold press b and make hold one second release so let's take it to the extreme where were we here uh where's my like cold cold startup cold power on i use cold power on all the time but so you can see here, I have them all separated. When you are programming it, you can have multiple words, but they gotta be separated by a semicolon and space. So like cold start up, cold power up, system initialize, cold power on, right? Meaning the engine's cold. So this is where it can get quite, quite intensive. You see here? So first command is press and hold U for one second and release. That's because Star Citizen, when it lags sometimes, won't it won't recognize just one thing, right? And then pause. You have to make sure there's a pause, because uh, otherwise this will just go like from one to the other to the other to the other. Uh, so when you are programming, you want to make sure that you have your pause, and then you know press I key for one second release. That's your engines, and then then a, uh, a delay. Press and release F7 key. Pause, press and release F7 key. I have that for full power to shields. And then pause and then press down right alt key, press and release H key and pause. So then that way there, that sets the flare cap. And then we have a pause for seven seconds because we put full power to shields, 75 seconds, and then press and release F8 key for the, the system reset. So you could change the different things to restricted continuous speech, continuous speech. Um, I mean, like I say, I keep, I keep all this as normal. You can have, uh, you can have multiple ones chain, chained together. Uh, and then you could have it, you can have, this is where you choose where to set it up. So uh, let's create one. Cause I haven't set one up for um, my new, uh, my new one key binding I've set. So let's hit new command. And this will give you a basic understand. So um, system. So just like this. Right? So when I say it's a small spot, you can also you can also have when I press buttons. And then, or when I press mouse, whatever. So you can have it set up for multiple things um, based on what you need it for. So we're going to do key press. Now, this is all based off of a key, one single key binding I have that changes about 
five different things. And so then we'll just, uh, then I bound that to my F3. And simple, just like that. So then now, you know, if I, I haven't been able to get the mouse capture to work correctly, um, that's something that is a little finicky with this. So feel free to experiment with that. Your pauses, you can, like, I, I generally use that. I Ironically, I generally use this one as my base, but you can use 0.5 seconds, whatever it is you do, or a variable pause, which will, will slide back and forth. Other allows you to, to change how voice attack reacts, that kind of stuff. You can change the order of how, uh, how it's, um, enable stuff this here you can have it so that it, it writes certain things out and then you know you can set a date time value integer you, so as you can see while it has a uh, a very wide range like you can use it for everything So now here, we just created it, my system optimized. So this F3 key switches my G-safe mode, uh, targeting pip, uh, so, and gunnery UI, and uh, disables the um, the landing mode. So this way here, it's all set, I'm good. And then anytime I say system optimize, in, uh, in like within itself, this is what'll happen. So just hit apply, and we'll hit done. So then now, this is the that that's a very quick tutorial very quick uh run through of how to how to kind of set up a simple command an example of a very advanced command at least in my opinion very advanced command there's probably guys out there that probably have far worse so if you do if you feel free to comment down below so anyways guys this wasn't really all what star system related because voice attack is how i got or star system is how i got voice attack in uh but uh you know, feel free to, to ask any questions you might have. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not no expert in it, but I have like, I think, what was it, I think 400 different commands that I had all set up for various things. Uh, so uh, feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Uh, be sure to leave a like and a subscribe if you do like this type of content. And uh, you can best rest assured I will keep trying to get back to a regular schedule. However, adulting things are kind of getting in the way of video games in general. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how, how I can keep this up. But we're over 300 subscribers. So thank you very much. Um, once we kind of hit 500, that's my first kind of goal. I want to try and do something special for you guys. But we've got to hit 500 first. Then I can start putting it together. Uh, but anyways, thank you very much for watching. And you know what? I'll see you guys around.